Hello and welcome to the lesson. In this lesson we are going to solve a problem on income tax, KCC 2018, paper 2, question number 23. The table below shows monthly income tax rates for a certain year. So the table of taxation is there with monthly income and tax rate in each shilling, that is in percentages. In that year, a monthly personal uh, tax relief of uh, 1,280 was allowed. In a certain month of the year, SILA under monthly basic salary of 52,000 shillings, then um, house allowance of 7,800 and a commuter allowance of 5,000. Questions, calculate. Uh, this is um, a part one. SILA's taxable income, SILA's taxable income, then two, the net tax payable by SILA in that month. And then part B, in July that year, SILA's basic salary was raised by 4%. Determine SILA's net salary in July. So let's go to the first part. The first part you're supposed to uh, get, uh, you're supposed to get SILA's taxable income. So how do we get taxable income or the gross income? We take the basic salary, uh, basic salary, which is uh, 52,000. Then we add all the allowances. We have two allowances. We have uh, house allowance of 7,800. And we have uh, another allowance that is 5,000. That is commuter allowance. So when we add these, we will be able to get the taxable income. So add these. 52,000 plus 7,800 plus 5,000. is going to give um, 64,800. So that is the taxable income. Part two, net tax payable by SILA in that month. So we shall use the taxable income. This is the amount that you're going to tax, 64,800, using the table of taxation above there. So we shall go uh, through this taxation process slab by slab. So the first slab, 0 to 11, 180, the amount you're going to tax in that slab is uh, 11, 180 at the rate of 10 percent so we shall take 11 11 180 times 10 percent and this one will give uh, a tax of when you multiply these you get a tax of uh, 11 that is what you get then we go to the second slab uh, the second slab uh, need to be very careful sometimes the slabs are not uniform so you'll take uh, 21 714 and then we subtract 11 180 not 11 181 that is where sometimes we go wrong so take 21,714 subtract 11,180 and uh, when you do that you get the amount you're going to tax that uh, slab and that will give when you subtract you get 10 534 10 534 and the rate of taxation uh, in that uh, slab is uh, 15 percent it's 15 percent fifteen percent this will give uh, tax off when you work out these uh, 10, 5, 4 times 15 percent get 15, 80 and 10 cents. 15, 80 and 10 cents. We go to the third slab. Uh, the third slab uh, begins here. Yeah? This is where we have it. Uh, so 32. This is how we get the amount in that slab. 32,248 subtract 21,714 not 15, 714. And when you subtract again, you'll find it is uniform. Uh, the rate of taxation there is 20%. Um, you get it as uh, the same. 10, 5, 34. This, this is the 10, 5, 34. At the rate of 20%. So when you work out this, you will get um, a tax of 21, 0, 6. 21, 0, 6 and 80 cents 80 cents now remember we are 
taxing this amount 64,000 800 and so far we've been able to tax 11 180 10 534 10 534 so we still have to go on to the next lab because that amount is not exhausted so the next lab is here uh 42 782 subtract 32 248 uh, to get the amount and you realize that <coughs> it is still the same or it will still be 10 534 10 534 times 25% and this one will give work out this is going to give 26 uh, 33 and uh, 50 cents so now we have been able to tax all these uh, that is what we need to add and see uh, we need to add and see what is remaining that will go to the last slab now we've taxed that we're now heading to the last slab so we need to know uh, out of 64,800 so how much have we been able to tax so that we get the remainder the income that is going to remain is going to be in the last lab so this is how we do it so to get the remaining amount so this is what you're going to do so I will take a uh, remember we are taxing these are 64,000 so 64,800 then we subtract 11,180 plus uh, 10,534 and uh, there are 3 so we, we, are, we are adding everything then we subtract uh, 64,800 subtract everything that we've taxed that will get the remaining that will go to the last lab so when you work out this um, whatever is going to the last lab will be 800 minus 11 80 plus 10 34 you get uh, 22 018 so that is what is going to the last lab so this lab we have 22 018 times 30 percent and this will give 22.18 times 30 percent will give 66.05 and 40 cents now we've taxed everything when you add now uh, everything here uh, this is the so when you add everything there you will get 64,800 so you've taxed the whole amount now when you add um, everything here this will give the tax the tax due tax due so tax due we get it by adding everything here so we shall add uh, 11 uh, 18 plus this plus this plus this plus this you get tax due or the gross tax so we add that on very fast and uh, 11 on 18 plus um, 1580 Point one plus twenty one zero six eighty plus twenty six thirty three point five plus sixty six zero five four you get fourteen zero forty three fourteen zero forty three and um, eighty cents. So when you add all the tax, that is going to give the gross tax the tax due. Now to get the net tax, you're going to less. Uh, relief we have uh, relief here is given here 1280 so when you want to get the net tax now you subtract so net tax so you're going to so we less 1280 so we're going to less 1280 that is uh leave and when you do that you get the net tax so just subtract and when you subtract these you'll get uh, 12,763 and um, 80 cents so that is the net tax now that is all about that part uh, 
we've answered the question, we've found the net tax. Now let's go to part B of the question. In July that year, Sila's basic salary was raised by 4%. Determine Sila's net salary in July. So let's get the new taxable income because if the basic salary is going to be increased by 4%, of course, taxable income will change. So remember the initial taxable income, uh, we had the taxable income as 64,800. So 64,000. So the new taxable income now, after addition of 4% basic salary, uh, so we have 64,800. That was the the initial, the original amount, uh, the taxable income. So after increase, four percent of basic salary. Basic salary is of uh, 52,000. This will give the new taxable income. And um, working out these, you will get uh, 66,880. 66,880. This is the new. Now taxable income after four percent increase in the basic salary, so you can get the difference. Uh, the difference between now the two, uh, what is going to give the, to bring the change? So initially it was sixty-four thousand. So we can simply subtract uh, sixty-four eight hundred. This will give eight. This is eight two. So this is the additional amount that is going to bring a new tax and this amount 2080 is going to fall in the last slab and in the last slab uh, as you can see here in this taxation table it will be taxed at the rate of 30 percent so we have to tax that at the rate of uh, 30 percent so therefore we get the new net tax so the new net tax so new net tax will be i remember first uh, for 64800 a tax of 12763 and 80 cents was um, found so 12763 and 80 cents then uh, this additional amount 2080 you say it will fall in the last slab and it will be taxed at the rate of 30 percent so this will be the new tax so this will be now the, be the new tax so when you work out this uh 12763 and 80 cents plus 30 percent this will get 13 387 37 and 80 cents so this is the we can see there's an increase from 12763 uh, to 13,000 is obtained by you take the gross income take the taxable income which is uh, the new taxable income don't forget we found this one to be 66 this is the new after the increase 66 880 then we subtract the new tax 13 387 and 80 cents so the new net salary will be given by uh, 66 uh, 1880 that is after the increase of 4% minus 13 387 and 80 cents and this is going to give um, when you subtract you get the net salary is uh, 53,492 uh, 492 and 20 cents so that is uh, how you're supposed to solve that question thank you